Hey guys, this is for those of you on Reddit that wanted to learn how to make a field of view for your enemy really quickly. So all I did was make an enemy uh, red and make a player blue. I set the player's tag to player. So in our enemy, we're going to make a game object and we're going to call this eyes. And then on our enemy, we're going to move those. Um, that's not going to be on yours. I messed up a little bit. So we're going to create a C sharp script. We're going to call this enemy FOV. We're going to put it. We're going to put it on our enemy. Um, you could put it on your eyes, uh, but I like this method better because usually I'll put this in an AI function and I'll just have it on my object instead of an object inside of my parent. So now all we're going to do is we're going to open it up. And now all we need is we need public game object eyes and public game object player. I would not recommend getting your player's game object this way um, just because player is not in your enemy prefab. So every time you want to find the player, you're going to, every time you instantiate a new instance of the enemy, you're going to have to drag player into the code. So I would find a better way to do this, which you can do by using a player manager, but that's not for now. We're going to make a float. We're going to call it max angle. And we're just going to set it equal to 45. Actually, let's call this max FOV angle. Just so later down the road, you don't get confused. Um, this is going to determine half of our, uh, half of our player's field of view, pretty much half of our enemy's field of view, field of view. Um, so in update, we're going to get uh, vector three in eyes position. This is just going to, actually, we don't need this. We're going to get uh, float distance to player. We're going to set it equal to vector three dot distance we're just going to do our player's position so player dot transform dot position and this is actually going to be dot game object dot transform dot position um, minus eyes dot transform dot position dot game object I don't know if you actually need to put the game object in there, but I'm doing it just for extra measure. Um, and then we're going to do comma, and we're going to get our eyes position. Dot position, dot transform, dot position, and um, actually, dot transform dot forward. Sorry, and just we're just going to multiply it by look radius. So uh, we don't have a look radius yet, so we're just going to come up here and define that. So float look radius. Um, let's set it equal to eight meters. So I'm going to explain this now. Vector three dot distance. Um, let's fix that real quick. Vector three dot distance returns a float value. Um, that is equal to a position A and position B, and it's just going to find the distance between that. Position A, player dot game object dot transform blah 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 minus eyes. Um, that puts uh, that finds a vector three in the world that is equal to our player's current position, um, and our it, it pretty much makes sure that we're at the position because we're um, subtracting eyes from there. But anyways, um, just make sure you do that. And then we're going to do eyes dot game object dot transform dot forward. Pretty much this uh, puts a vector three um, on the z axis. It's going to go forward on the z axis. And as far forward as it goes is determined by what we multiply by. So we just made that eight meters. And then all we're going to do from there is we're going to do, uh, we're going to make one more float. 
and we're actually going to call this, we're going to move this up here just so we can clean up our code. Um, we're going to call this FOV radius. Uh, it's going to be a vector 3. And it's going to be equal to eyes dot game object dot transform dot forward times local radius. Um, and then we can just replace this here with uh, FOV radius. So now all we're going to do is we're going to find vector 3 or float player angle is going to be equal to vector 3 dot angle and what vector 3 dot angle does is it gives us the angle between two objects so we're going to do uh, we're going to do we're going to do distance to player and our FOV radius um, but this isn't going to work because distance to player is a all the way. So we're going to do transform. Uh, we're actually going to do player dot game object dot transform dot position minus eyes dot game object dot transform dot position. So we're going to get the vector three of where our player is and the vector three of our radius, and we're just going to find an angle between the two. And we're going to say if player angle is less than max angle, max FOV angle, distance, or I don't know why I said that, debug dot log in. So this should be simple enough. We're going to grab our enemy and we're going to put eyes and eyes. We're going to put player and player. And we're going to press play. Oh, looks like there's been messed up. I forgot to put this here. Okay. So now when it gets done being a jerk, we're going to press play. And as you can see, there's nothing in the debug. But as soon as we move our player position to inside, you can see it's going. And then we can move them out and it stops. That is as simple as it is. Now we're going to get just a tiny bit more advanced. So we're going to say if that if that's all you want, then that's all you need. But now we're going to make sure that it's finding the player. So we're going to do um, raycast hit hit. And then we're going to say if uh, physics dot raycast and we're going to do um, we're going to cast a ray obviously um, you can see there's an origin there's a direction and then we're going to do hit information we're not going to do these two so we're going to do our origin is going to be uh, eyes dot transform dot position um, and then our location is going to be player dot transform dot position and then out hit you know a lot of people don't know what out hit does out hit does all it does is for whatever the ray hits it stores inform all the information on the object into hit so it's pretty neat so if it hits we're going to say we're going to run one more if statement so if the player is inside the field of view, we're going to cast a ray. If it hits something, we're going to do one more if statement. If hit dot collider uh, dot compare tag player. We're going to say debug dot log hitting. Hitting player. So 
for this to work you have to have a collider on your object so pretty much all we're going to do now is we're going to in front of our enemy just to make sure that this works um, we can do a debug dot um, draw away actually so um, debug dot draw ray from eyes dot transform dot position uh, to player dot transform dot position um, so now all we need to do uh, that's just a, all that does is it draws a line from our eyes to our player so this is just to show you that if we make a 3d object in front of our enemy it's and it doesn't hit our player then we're in trouble or he doesn't see him so we're gonna grab this and now he's in it's hitting the player you can see it's going up now watch it as we go behind this cube it stops so that's as simple as it is this will allow you to sneak this will allow you to control um, the enemy's behavior uh, sorry for the cat um, this is as simple as it is and everybody wants to make it a lot more crazy if this isn't efficient then tell me I'm not totally advanced but um, thank you for watching and that's all you need have a good one